All right, guys, and welcome back to another channel. So uh, not much been going on this last week in terms of training, kind of coming to an end of a block. So I thought I'd talk you through my uh, bike packing setup for this year. So uh, yeah, uh, bike packing is something I'm getting more and more into. As I'm uh, getting less uh, competitive in my old age, uh, I'm starting to uh, enjoy cycling a little bit more leisurely. So yeah, uh, gonna talk you through my setup, what I've got for this year. So the bike itself is a Lapier Cross Hill 5.0. It is the top of the range uh, that they do, but it is still aluminium. Um, I do believe there is going to be a carbon fibre one coming out, but they won't quite tell me just yet. Um, it's got a carbon fibre front fork, and yeah, other than upgrading the tyres, uh, there's nothing else uh, I have done to this bike. It is all completely stock. Um, the tyres I have gone for are Schwabel G1 Ultra Bites. Uh, they are, yeah, really, really, really robust. I've actually rode over barbed wire in those uh, in the middle of the night, and uh, yeah, they didn't even burst. Um, so far, I've never had a single punch on them which has been absolutely fantastic um, in case you're wondering for you uh, cycle tech geeks we've got the Shimano GRX uh, group set on there it's quite honest I couldn't tell you the ratio um, but yeah um, there has been a few times I've had to hike a bike but pretty much uh, I can get up uh, most of the climbs uh, and uh, I have gone for a two by so there's obviously bike packing um, a lot of road is entailed as well so it means you can get uh, a shift on so the actual kit I've gone for is uh, from Riverside and I've pretty much got every single piece they do barring a front fork bag which I will be ordering uh, at the time they didn't have it in stock uh, but I will put a picture in right about here and yeah basically I'm going to be starting at the back end so this is the rear saddle bag uh, as you can see it's got some really really robust velcro straps here uh, some really robust um, buckles which hold the uh, actual uh, rear bag in place and they fold up really really neat um, currently in the back here I have got uh, my one man tent um, I've just put it in for purposes uh, which I'll yeah, talk about that uh, later on but yeah uh, it's really really good I've actually rode this uh, the other day just to test it out on some really rough gravel and there's not much movement in there whatsoever um, yeah um, really really good in the middle here we've actually got a frame bag as you can actually see it pretty much fits in there perfectly a uh, bit of a little gap there but that's great if you need to tinker with your uh, front derailleur there and yeah so basically um, this is accessed from the side um, and it just kind of rolls out really really trick um, and you can get in the side there and yeah so I've got things in here like uh, spare bits of clothing waterproof jacket uh, bits of food etc etc uh, stuff that I don't need to access quickly uh, while I'm riding along um, but yeah as you can see it's took me about a minute just to get in and out of there so it's really really fantastic uh, it's fully waterproof and yeah it's really robust it's really hard so if you get any side impacts uh, you know that all your kit in there is going to be uh, really protected so on the top we've got this top tube bag, um, it is actually uh, bolted in the bottom there uh, and it then covers over with that nice little padded strip at the bottom. Um, this is really really well thought out so it is fully waterproof again, it is really hard, really robust so any side impacts, anything that's in there is going to be protected um, and it's got this little magnetic catch which is fantastic and yeah um, what is good about this as well, it's also got a fully waterproof cable hull so you can charge your uh, gas on the go um, and I've just got bits and pieces in there like electronics at the moment so I've got my battery pack um, so I can charge up my uh, my Wahoo charge up my phone and uh, yeah my mobile phone also fits in there and we've probably got room for a couple of gels as well so at the front, um, I've got two little bags strapped to my handlebars. Um, these don't get in the way whatsoever. Uh, while my hands are actually on the hoods there, uh, yeah, they're well out the way. Um, this one uh, on the right hand side has got lots of little mesh pockets in there. So this is what I'll be using for gels, bits of food, bits and pieces. Um, again, this is uh, really well thought out. Um, so. Whilst you're riding along, um, you can do it all one-handed. So it's got like a double um, toggle system. So you just pull it um, and it just opens up there. And then 
you can then, uh, yeah, just uh, pull it with the other side, really. So it's fantastic. Um, yeah, I envisage just to use uh, food on the go with that one or maybe put my uh, GoPro or uh, DJI um, vlogging camera in there whilst I'm riding along just in case I see anything. Um, on the other side, I've got another bottle bag. So this one I'm going to be using, um, yeah, something like uh, this, this gel flask uh, with the straw because um, it just goes in there really neat get some fluid out really really quickly um, so yeah if I need to be uh, topping up uh, with taps or churchyards or uh, yeah just shops with water it's really accessible and um, so that's really really neat and again they don't bounce around on there whatsoever um, on the front, we've got uh, another harness system. And yeah, so basically at the minute, I've got a sleeping bag, I've got a sleeping mat in there, and it's kind of, again, really, really robust. It doesn't bounce. Um, and because of this uh, system, it sits away from your handlebars. So whilst you're turning, it doesn't rub your paint off. Fantastic movement. And yeah, I've still got plenty of room to get my hands in there. So my last system, I had no room whatsoever. I was having to put my hands on the top and I couldn't um, do the handlebars, uh, the, the gearing or the brakes uh, very good. Um, so it was a bit of a hindrance really. With this one, um, yeah, there's lots and lots of room. Um, what I have got on here is some just added Velcro straps so they kind of go around uh, the TT bars. Um, just, yeah, if I'm on some really rust stuff, it just stops everything bouncing off. On the actual front here, there is a, a clip-on system. Again, it's like really, really robust, really, really hard. Um, you can do that with one hand if you need to. Um, so I'll be using this for uh, my camera equipment for vlogging. So things like uh, my drone, the uh, drone controller, couple of spare batteries, uh, a few bits and pieces. Uh, again, fully waterproof, so that's absolutely fantastic. And uh, yeah, with this thing, it just clips uh, on and off uh, quite easily. So you can actually see how quickly that comes off. Um, so yeah, if you're going into like the cafe, you can take that in because it's got your valuables in there um, and then leave your bike outside. And again, it just clips on really, really quickly. So it's absolutely fantastic and really well thought out. Um, like I mentioned earlier, there is a couple of uh, other bits and pieces you can get uh, a part of this kit um, and they're kind of like stuff sacks that go on your front forks. When I actually ordered all this lot, it wasn't in stock. Uh, I believe it's in stock now, um, so I will be ordering that, but I only really envisage using that if I'm going to be going on multiple days. Um, at the minute, this is something I'll probably go off maybe two days, free at the most. Um, I am planning on doing the uh, New Yorkshire uh, coast route, which is uh, going to be over four or five days this year, so as soon as I get the time, I will be doing that. Um, but yeah... Um, other bits and pieces to look at is the actual uh, tool bottle here. So yeah, it's got plenty of clearance off the tire. Um, so things I have in here is like repair puncture kit, um, a couple of spare chain links, uh, some lube, uh, some other bits and pieces. Yeah, just to kind of like keep the bike maintained and going, fix a, a puncture if I need to, some plugs, um, yeah, touch wood. I've not needed to do that just yet, but yeah, it's really, really handy, um, and that just pops in and out. Um, so yeah, things like that tend to get dirty, so it's really good to have it out of here where there's going to be clothing, other bits and pieces, and it's really handy to get to. Um, at the moment, I've got a bottle on the front here. Um, yeah, I have that on the front fork, and the reason I have it there is just really accessible. Um, obviously, if I don't have this lot, it goes here, um, but it's really, really important to uh, have a lid on here that is a uh, flip top, because obviously you flick up all the dirt um, and sheep shit, stuff like that, and obviously you just want to keep that bottle clean, so that's really, really handy. Um, other than that, on the longer journeys, I will be using like a hydration pack, um, which kind of, yeah, yeah, uh, it is a little bit extra weight, but it just means I've got a lot more fluid. Uh, when we did the Yorkshire Dales trip, um, it kind of, uh, yeah, we come across uh, shops few and far between, so it just uh, enables you to carry a lot more water and, uh, yeah, uh, not worry about uh, dehydrating. 
On the front here, I have gone for uh, some little TT bars, if anything, uh, just to wind up the roadies, because I am a triathlete and uh, no bike is complete without them. However, they do serve a couple of purposes. Uh, first of all, like I mentioned, um, we do have uh, some extra support for this front bag, uh, so the straps go around there. Um, yeah, I've also pretty much run out of... Um, handlebar space um, so it's really really good place just to put my bell and uh, yeah also um, putting myself uh, in the TT position uh, a bit more of an aero position so if I am riding along the roads or some long gravel sections um, I can uh, yeah get my head down a little bit and uh, pick up the speed but it also just puts a lot of pressure on your back it helps you to get into a different position so you can uh, yeah um, get through the ride uh, without smashing your back to pieces really um, other than that yeah um, it's pretty much ready to go I've got all the bits and pieces uh, in there um, I'm just waiting for yeah the weather to warm up and uh, we're ready to go really um, so by no means I'm an expert at bike packing. However, I have had a couple of uh, bad experiences over the last couple of years. So I'm just hoping that uh, this kit takes a lot of stress out of it for me. Good morning. Absolute dreadful night's sleep for me. Um, we decided to push on a little bit last night, try and get as close to 100K as possible. We ended up in a little field, come through that gate and uh, there's a wall. Andy's cleaning his teeth, so we thought we'd get hunkered down next to it. Um, this is a tent I bought off Amazon for 36 quid, and it's an absolute bag of shite. It's full of water, it's condensated up, sagged in the middle, and I've had the worst night's sleep ever. It is literally full of water. That thing is getting rolled up and put in the first bin that I come to and we're gonna to have to find a different solution for tonight. Um, and make it enjoyable because that's uh, what it's all about. It's about going out, it's uh, about exploring, and it's about having fun with uh, with my friends. So yeah, it's just something a little bit different to triathlon, and it makes sure that I uh, keep uh, getting active. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, yeah, I'm sorry, it's not a really, really in-depth talk. Um, like I said, I'm not an expert, so uh, if you want to uh, have a look more into it, I'm sure there's other videos uh, on YouTube. But yeah, other than that, yeah, thanks for watching, and and uh, I hope you like and subscribe. And uh, I hope I've encouraged you to get out there and do a bit of bike packing yourself. I've uh, not really done anything to upgrade this bike. Hello, Radley. Thought you'd turn up. Hello. Are you quite done? Great. Thanks for that. Yeah, you're gonna go in now. So I've just finished editing that vlog you just watched, and as you can imagine, it takes lots and lots of hours. And one thing that has absolutely bugged me the entire time is this thing. So for the OCD among you, like myself, it's now straight. Thank you.